guys, Kelsey Bree here. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving some advice to incoming freshmen for high school. So let's get started. So advice number one that I have for my incoming freshmen is that you are going to feel uncertain and you're also going to feel nervous at the same time. Because you're going to be uncertain because you are brand new to this campus. The campus might be larger than the one that you have experienced maybe last year or two years ago. So it's all right. Now, you won't know your teachers because you have brand new teachers for everything. So it's all right if you don't know where to go. Like if it's on the third floor and you thought it was on the first floor, it's all right. Because guess what? You are going to have people who are going to help you get there. There are security guards that you can ask to help you get to a location. And there's also going to be maybe just a teacher that's happened to walk around in the hallway and you run into them. Just nicely ask, hi, where is math class, which is B301. Like, can you help me get there? And they're going to help you get there. So there's nothing to be really nervous about. So advice number two that I have is stop caring what people think. Um, easier said than done. I know it's hard, but you really got to just stop caring what people think. Another thing is if you like, I guess, the color pink and people and such and such doesn't like the color pink, but you really do, don't change your favorite color or be like, oh yeah, I hate the color pink too. Because no, that's your favorite color. You think that color is so pretty, it's so beautiful. Because guess what? I love the color pink. And I've been told by so many people that, ew, the color pink is so ugly. It's so ugly. Like, why would you like the... I like the color pink, okay? And I'm not, I don't feel bad about it because it's my favorite color, so. But then if I told him, oh, the color blue is ugly, the color green is ugly, like why would you like that color? It would have been like, first of all, a lot of people like the color green and blue, but guess what? A lot of people like the color pink, okay? <laughs> okay? <laughs> So tip number three of my advice for you guys freshmen is stop trying to fit in. You don't need to fit in. And guess what? The little clicks that you have in high school after you graduate, it does not matter anymore. I'm telling you, I graduated and guess what? It don't matter. It really don't. Because all you do is follow the same people on Instagram and that's all you see. But these clicks don't even matter. They don't even like still talk to each other. Like, and the clicks that we have in high school, those people, they don't even like each other in the group. They in a group, they're a group of friends, but first of all, Becky don't like Abby and Abby don't like Lindsay. But they in this group together pretending to be friends because of their image or trying to for some type of standard. But it don't matter after college. I mean, sorry. I'm thinking about college stuff because I have a lot of college things to do. So, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, after high school, it does not matter. Stop trying to fit in. Wear the dress you want to wear, wear the shirt you want to wear, and wear the jeans you want to wear. But make sure it follows the school guidelines, okay? They're set for a reason. Now tip number four of my advice is stay away from pointless drama. I'm not lying when I say this, but every drama, every issue in high school, the situation, it is always pointless. There has been a time at school I went to an all-girls school, I'm not going to name the school, but literally one group and another group, like one click and one click, wanted to sit at this one table. They fighting over a table. Well, there's a bunch of other tables in the cafeteria. Like, are you serious? Over a table? And they were like, well, no, I see, this is where I sit. We sit here. We've always sat here. Now, why are you sitting over here? And I'm like, first of all, it is a free country. I'm walking around freely and I will sit wherever I want freely. It don't matter. So don't even say like this is my table just because you're known for sitting at this table. It don't matter. It really don't matter. It's a table for crying out loud. A round table, a round piece of table. It does not matter who's, who sits there, who doesn't. Because guess what? There's a table right next to that table. Like, are you serious? Like, no offense, but get out of here with that mess. The, po the drama that you will experience in high school is very pointless unless it's some um, unless you get into some deep trouble then it ain't pointless that's because there's a reason why you sit in the principal's office about to get suspended or expelled I'm just saying no offense but that's just how it be do you think like the, their best friends and then she has a boyfriend and the best friend sees with a boyfriend you think that's pointless Oh my god, no. If you dating a guy and he cheats that's not pointless I'm just saying like the table that's an example like literally you fighting over a table, sis. And number five is don't be afraid to try new things. If you want to join the hula club, if you want to join the reading book club, the book club, the chess club, the math club, science, heck, decoration club, anything, do it because college is actually like that. 
they really do because they see you are being engaged with the community they see you being engaged with other students and when you're part of these organizations like you get a job within the you get a job within the club because you are responsible maybe for the posters for the signs for the signs of sign ups or the registration whatever but like i'm telling you the truth like when colleges see this they actually really like it because i joined a lot of clubs when i was in high school i think i joined Three, which doesn't seem like a lot, but if you think about it, a lot of a lot of kids in high school don't be joining clubs because they think it's lame. But if you you really should, I'm not lying. And I remember one college said, "Wow, we like how engaged you are with the community. We like how engaged you are and like really knowledgeable in in these different areas." So I'm saying, join clubs not because it's there. I'm saying join it because it is there and it's going to help you in the future. And colleges want this; like they really like it. That brings my point to also do some community service because they also like it when they see students do a lot of community service. And I actually give some credit to private schools and some public schools because some schools actually require you to do some community service. It is honestly really good because when you do have to start applying for colleges, now you can be like, I did do some community service. I did about 50 hours worth, 60 hours worth, 128 hours worth of doing community service. So that's good because I had about, I think, 60 hours worth of it. And if you're doing this, the same community service over and over, it's fine. Because along those hours are totaling up, it's all right. But it's also good to make sure you're still contributing to different areas, you know? So. Now this is my last piece of advice for my freshmen. And it is, Make memories with the people you want to make memories with. There's no point of being with a clique, a group of individuals when you barely like each other, you barely want to spend time with them, but you're only there for the social status. No, don't do that. It is just a waste of your time. It is a waste of your life. You only be a sophomore for a year. It's not unless you <laughs> failed the grade. Then. I'm just saying, like, you don't want to waste your time because... The seconds you spend there doing nothing, you can't get back. So if you're just gonna stand there, be quiet, like, and not try anything or not say something, those are the moments that you will never get back. So you have to do it now. You got to be in the present. Along with it, make friends, like actual genuine, general, genuinely loyal, honest friends. I am like not kidding. I think. I would say my sophomore year is where I tried to just be with people like, not the popular people, but I'm just saying like people who I wanted to be friends with for like some type of status or something or because of where they were at. I'm telling you, I was not happy. I, I mean, I was happy, but I wasn't like 100% happy, 90%. It was more like a 60%, like I'm just there. I'm just there talking. But once I kind of stepped away from that group and actually hung out with the people who I wanted to hang out with, like people I enjoyed and connected with like, like that, I have made so many memories. I can already tell like, when I go to college and after college, I'm going to be still talking to them and I'm going to try to visit them and stuff like that. Like you need to make memories and make connections and be with people who you actually want to be with. Make memories and be with people who you actually want to be with. When that goes from middle school, high school, well, when you're in elementary, you don't even know, but I'm just saying like, don't waste your life away. Don't do it. Because those seconds, those minutes, hours, weeks, months, years are gone. And you can't get it back. You don't get to reverse your age. You go back to being 16 or 17, 15. No, you're going to be 18. You're going to be 23. You're going to be 64. You're going to be 76. Gone. Like, you're just going to keep going up. And all that time is going to go by. So, yeah. Boys. You don't be trying to smash, don't, you need to focus on you. Now girls, you don't need to be messing with no boy. First of all, the guys in high school aren't even good. They whack, they are whack, I'm sorry. They but if you do meet streets. a good one, yeah, no offense, but them boys belong to the streets. You girls, you girls belong to the streets. Don't be doing nothing bad. Don't be doing it in high school, cause you gonna get caught. You gonna get caught, okay. That is all. If you stuck to the very end of this video, I greatly appreciate it. All my social medias and recent uploads by me will be down in the description box. And I'll see you next time. Bye!